Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance. So, we've gone through three of the five worlds that we got at the beginning. We got to use another Yu-Gi-Oh card to go to Wonderland. Because at this point we could go to Halloween Town, sure, but Halloween Town's a great one to do last, so... Wonderland is going to be next. Wonderland's kind of boring, unfortunately. Hey, somebody's coming! I'm late! I'm late! I'm dreadfully, awfully late! The Queen will roast me for dinner! If I'm late for the trial, it'll be off with my head next! What do you mean, but off with your head? Oh, my fur and whiskers! I'll never make it! Off with his head? For such a peaceful looking place, it sounds pretty dangerous! That's Wonderland in a nutshell. Key of Beginnings! Hey everybody, remember Wonderland from the first game? Well, we are back again to kick some butt once again! Aw oh, man. So enemies in this world, I think, are pretty much all duplicates from what we've seen before. With a few exceptions, we've got the large body from the Olympus Coliseum. Just raid him, and he's pretty easy, otherwise hit him in the back with attack cards. And no biggie. We also have Red Nocturnes, which means we gotta watch our fire rates. These are some of the new enemies. These are Crescendos. If you leave them alone, they can heal enemies. They can also call new enemies in. They oh, I forgot. Like Tornado Steps, they also were not in Kingdom Hearts 1. So they're the other unique enemy. New enemy. One of the other unique new enemies. There's one other that I can think of. Strom Initiative! Yes! I like showing Strom Initiative. Actually, not really. Soldiers are back from Traverse Town. These are Lotus Flowers. Oh man, I forgot Lotus Flowers are also not in the original. Luckily, Lotus Flowers have to stay in one place. Unfortunately, they can break your decks pretty easily. But they're very weak to fire. Yeah, they've got high value cards. Actually, magic in general, the lotus flowers are pretty weak, too. Whoosh! Nice, more strong initiatives. Alright, what I'm gonna do... Because we've got red nocturnes in this world, but not blue rhapsodies, I am removing my fire cards and replacing them with wizards. I've got some low-valued wizard cards, so that'll work out just fine. Alright, decent sized map. Let's start by going this way. One or higher, let's start with a calm bounty. That seems like a good idea for me. We get stop. Nice. Alright, there's a crown door down here. Key of Guidance. Alright. We'll come back there later. Five or higher? Tranquil Darkness. Why not? How dare you make me trip! Take that, you stupid Lotus Flowers. Yeah, as you can see by the amount of level ups we're getting, as well as how fast we're getting through these worlds, this game's a lot shorter than Kingdom Hearts 1. Which is nice. CP, please! At this point in the game, I would love some more CP. Ooh, I need that. Kingdom Key. Should stop hitting the flowers until all the enemies are dead. Eat ice! Ice attacks pretty much one-hit KO them. Any fire-based enemy, really. Unless it's a boss like Axel. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, that was an impressive wizard raid, if I do say so myself. Seven or higher. Let's do a Mugorum. You don't want to make all of the rooms in a given world like Calm Bounties or Moogle Rooms. Just a decent amount of them. Key of Beginnings! Excellent! But first, I want my free card pack. Oh boy! Okay, that's the Lady Luck Keyblade. That's the one from Wonderland. It has an attack of C, which is pretty decent. And wow, I got some really good ones here. I'm gonna buy some attack packs now, because I want to use Sonic Blade a lot. Alrighty, pretty good. Wow, these are good. Alright, I don't want to blow my last bit of Moogle points. But on this note... I think we can remove some of the really bad Kingdom Key cards, like any free-valued ones we're getting rid of. Actually, any free-valued cards of any type would probably be a good idea to get rid of, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I don't need Simba? What's Simba doing in here? Get hit Simba out of here, alright. So I definitely want these equipped, and that one. Alright, I'm gonna try to pair up some Sonic Blades. Since so, after our raids, we've got a 9 there. 9 plus 4 is 13, so we need to value 7 Keyblade. So 9 plus 4 plus 7, that equals 20. And they're all different types, so that'll be a Sonic Blade. Let's go on to the second one. 8 plus 5 is 13, so we need a 7 or higher that's not a Kingdom Key or a Free Wishes. So let's see. One, two, three, two, four. That's one. That's a premium card, so we want that first. So that creates one, that creates another. Six plus six is twelve. We need an eight. Do we have an eight valued kingdom key anywhere? We have it there, but. Oh, we have one there. Excellent. Cool! So that makes some Sonic Blades. Excellent. Oh, and another crown door here. Okay, that's the removal of rewards. Alright, well, let's open the Key of Beginnings door, shall we? We need a bunch of cards, the total 20. Let's use a Sorcerer's Waking. Followed by Calm Bounty. They don't need to equal exactly 20, just at least 20. Uh, derp, 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 what's happening here? Gorsh, looks like some kind of get-together. What's the occasion? It's their unbirthday, haven't you seen the movie? Hey, this must be that trial the White Rabbit was talking about! Alice, do you understand the charges against you? Of course not. I've done nothing wrong. Feigning ignorance, dear. You are charged with aiding the heartless who threaten this kingdom. Fiddlesticks, where's the evidence? The evidence is, I forgot! That's the evidence! Because you, Alice, are the one who stole my memory. We can't rid the kingdom of Heartless until we get Her Majesty's memory back. This is a serious crime. This is so unfair. So what if you're a queen? Don't blame me just because you can't remember things. 
Such insolence! You're talking to the Queen of Hearts! And I'd have let you go had you apologized straight away. What a brazen thief! <laughs> Who's the brazen one? Uh, Sora? The court has reached a verdict! The sentence is death! <laughs> what is this, Ace Attorney? This trial's a farce. You should investigate before you arrest innocent people. What is the meaning of this? Are you saying Alice didn't steal my memory? I suppose you know who the real culprit is, then. Huh? I, uh... Speak, or Alice's sentence will be carried out. Now, out with it. Who's the thief? Um, uh... I'm the thief. <laughs> Say that again? Gorsh, really? <laughs> Of course not, but what else am I supposed to say? She can hear you. Cards! Seize them all! We actually get a fight right away in the key beginning store. We get to fight the card soldiers, who are pretty easy, honestly. Especially if you get. Oh, whoops. I'm like, where did all my cards go? Oh, derp. So then they go away and drop experience, then we get these spear guards, which are also relatively easy to deal with. Wow, that was incredibly easy. And we get the card soldier card. <laughs> a card of a card. Cardception. Hey, where's Alice? Looks like she escaped. Perhaps she did, but you won't! I think we've been trapped! Oh, <laughs> run! Queen of Hearts represents everything wrong with monarchy, essentially. I do not like the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> then again, who really does? Ooh, Moogle points. Yum, 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 yum. I also realized that the Sonic Blade is really not going to help me in this world, because like, the raids are going to be plenty enough, and the boss I can't even use Sonic Blade against. Oh, a potion! Thank you. <laughs> Yum! Giant Moogle points worth more. Level 3 Lady Luck? Not terrible, I suppose. So remember, the key of Guidance Door was actually back here, so we can enter that right now. Red card. Feeble Darkness, Sleeping Darkness. Let's do Feeble Darkness. Five or lower. Sometimes you need a card that has a certain amount or lower. Let's use Tranquil Darkness, followed by Key of Guidance. Pretty simple. Things got a little crazy back there, but at least you're okay. She's like, what the heck are you guys? I don't mean to be ungrateful, but was that true what you said? Are you the thief? What? Of course not! Why would I steal the queen's memory? Yep, Sora only said that because he wanted to see. Tashara! Is that right? Well, you saved me all the same. Thank you, Sora. Oh, look! It's the Cheshire Cat! Feeling better after that mad dash? You're not out of the woods yet. The Queen's a stickler for justice. She won't forget till she remembers. She won't stop hounding you until she, you get her memory back. Did she forget because she remembers? Does she remember that she forgot? Doesn't matter, I suppose. I don't know. I think we ought to just stay away from her. That's all well and good for us, Sora, but what about Alice? If the Queen catches her again, it's off with... well, you know. Then I guess we'd better do something about the Queen. You should do something, but don't you ha you don't have to do anything. Huh? If you can't remember something, it's like it never happened. Likewise, if something never happened, you can't remember it. Try hard too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. Lie? 
That's all I'll say. The rest is for you to figure out. How cryptic. Then again, it's the Cheshire Cat. What else is new? Now we get to go around and collect the, all the stuff again for a third time. This is probably why I've been able to buy so many magic packs and just card packs in general. Again, I don't play Magic the Gathering. I'm not talking about that kind of magic cards. I'm talking about the, the cards that let you use magic in this game. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or a Spike Vegeta would say, sick. And... Through the store, please. Seven or higher. I already did use the Moogle Room. I already done did use the Moogle Room. Let's do Sleeping Darkness. It's okay if I don't get a ton of level ups in this world. It really is. No, 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 no. Oh, man! Blizzard Raid! Blizzard Raid! Oh, man, that's a really easy wave of enemies. I wish I could fight them every time. Are you- wait, really? There was only one enemy in this room. That's... kind of insane. Oh, there we go. More enemies. Or enemy. Yes, please! I love fighting this wave. Oh, I didn't hit that crescendo down there, though. Boom. Alright, I feel like I should fight a lot of Heartless in this room. Yeah, I'll do a Teeming Darkness. Gotta fight a lot of Heartless. And maybe I'll get that same wave over and over again. That would be lovely. If you time your blizzard raid just right, it kills them all. Let's hit him three times. Yes! Hit him three times, so he died quickly. Ooh, and we get a white room. White rooms are useful. And no, it's not stereotyping. It, it means it's a room with white mushrooms inside of it. Let's see, with my extra CP, what do I want to equip? I'd love to equip some Free Wishes and Olympias. That was not as many Heartless as I was expecting. Then again, I also plowed through the battles insanely quickly. Thanks to my obscene amounts of Wizard Raid. Yes, please. Thank you. Lovely Kingdom Key. Oh, also, I don't think I mentioned it before, but the like one of the few worlds from Kingdom Hearts 1 that does not make a reappearance in this was the Tarzan world. And I don't know if it's because they don't know they didn't have the rights to Tarzan anymore or what, but don't expect to see the deep jungle in the Chain of Memories. The end of the world also does not make a reappearance, but that's okay because they brought bring in two new worlds to make up for it. All right, four or higher. Oh, this actually isn't the right room. I'm gonna keep my white room because I don't have all the magic unlocked yet. Ooh. Yeah, why not? Calm bounty. I'm sick of fighting in Wonderland, to be perfectly honest. And it's another stop. Some in some worlds, if you you need to use two different treasure chest rooms in order to get all the treasure. This is not one of those worlds, though. We need a zero card. Oh, I know, I have a couple of those. Two, more, I have two for Marshall Waking. Two for Moogle Room. Two for Calm Bounty. I'm gonna use the Moments Reprieve one because honestly, I will not be using Moments Reprieve in the in this Let's Play most likely. Gorsh, what's with the sudden change of scenery? Let's look around. Oh dear! I couldn't look in front of my face! Thought you'd seen the last of me, did you? Uh-oh. 
Game's up, scoundrels, for stealing my memory. I said it's you two. I said it's you two. I sentence. Oh? What's going on? Where am I? Huh? What in the world am I doing? Confound it, I can't remember! What's wrong with her? Maybe somebody swiped her memory again. Sora, watch out! Something's coming! Remember him? So this is what stole the Queen's memory. It's the Trick Master! So the Trick Master is not terribly great. Also, you can get a Mickey Mouse card for this. Actually, you can also you also could have gotten a Mickey Mouse card for the Jafar battle, but I also didn't get that, where it raises all the platforms to the highest level. If we can get a Mickey Mouse card for this guy, we can use Blizzard Raid against him. But I don't think that's even going to be necessary, because holy cow, this guy is a joke. You literally just jump up and hit him, and he can barely damage you. There's the Mickey Mouse card, but it's too far away in my deck for me to even really want to use it. The Mickey Mouse card makes a table up here that you can stand on and fire magic at his heart. Oh my, wow, he was a joke! And we get the Trick Master card, which is, might, it might be the worst enemy card in the entire game. How about that? Let's boost his HP for once. You free! All of you! What is the meaning of this? Where did that heartless come from? How would we know? So, you refuse to answer? You're hiding something! They're plotting against me! Seize them immediately! Please, your majesty, wait! It was you who commanded us to destroy the heartless. Huh? Your majesty and her prudence didn't completely trust us at first. And so, at your majesty's command, we fought the Heartless to prove ourselves. Isn't that right, Sora? We did? I mean, we did, uh, your, uh, majesty. <laughs> I told you to do that? <laughs> but your majesty, don't you remember? Don't be ridiculous! I never forget anything! Of course I gave the command. Alice, Sora, you did splendidly. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, Alice. Well, that was close. <laughs> Way to improvise! I never would have thought of that. But the Cheshire Cat said as much. Try too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. The Queen would never admit she forgot, so instead she remembered something that didn't happen. She ended up fooling herself. What is it, Sora? Hmm, it's nothing. Well, I guess you'll be safe now. And that Queen won't give us any more trouble. After all, we got rid of the Heartless, just like she commanded. Don't tell me you've been fooled, too! <laughs> we... <laughs> Sora falls from, like, a <laughs> oh, 50-foot cliff and is like, bam, completely, un utterly fine. Come on, yep, yeah. yep. Oh, what the heck? That was odd. Also, this room is called... Oh, this is Moments Reprieve, I guess. It's a special Moments Reprieve. I'm Sora, gotta go for the castle. Hey, Sora, did you remember anything else about that girl? Yeah, bits and pieces. Tell us about her. Talking about it might help you remember. Plus, we're, we want to gossip. Okay, um... She was quiet, and almost always drawing pictures. While we were all swimming at the beach, she'd draw a picture of it instead. Sometimes she drew us too! She was really good at it. I think sometimes Riku and I would fight over who, she, who would get his picture drawn next. <laughs> but one day she was gone, just like that. 
I think our parents knew the reason. They might have even tried to explain it to me. But I was little. I probably didn't understand what was happening. I remember crying a little after she was gone, but that's it. I still can't remember her name. Still, up until now, you didn't remember any of that! At this rate, you'll think of her name in no time! Anyone notice something odd? Sora's remembering things instead of forgetting them. Hmm, maybe forgetting things is the only way to reach the memories deep, buried deeper down. I don't think that's what Inside Out taught us. <laughs> you mean, we have to forget to remember? So it's like those black robe guys said. Our most precious memories lie deep in our hearts, out of reach. And all that stuff about finding being losing and losing being finding? I didn't get it at first, but maybe this is what they were talking about. Ah, uh, that's no fair! Why aren't the rest of us remembering anything yet? Come on, Goofy! We're not forgetting fast enough! Let's move! I forgot the recipe to how to make spaghetti. See how much you remember? It can't be long before her name comes back to you, too. Ah, oh, I wish I had lots of buried memories to remember. Oh, these two again. It looks like Sora's memories have taken root, just as planned. Let's see how far our boy will go, then. Think it's time for another round? Only if it's my turn to play. You had your fun on the first floor. Remember, Larxane, our job is to deliver him in one piece. Fine, but who says I can't have my way with him first? Don't break him. Do I detect a soft spot? He's partly one of us. I'm not going to break the toy, Axel. Just play with it. I'm not dumb. Then you won't mind the warning. Remember, Sora is the key. We need him if we're going to take the organization. So you're in on it too. Well, keep it under your hood until the time is right. <laughs> you would have been wise to do the same, Lark scene. Uh, interesting villain drama. <laughs> So, Sora, have you remembered your friend's name yet? Nope. For whatever reason, her name's the only thing that isn't coming back. That must be driving you crazy! You have the memories, but no name to go with them! Heh. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is just getting more and more interesting each episode. Don't you just hate it when something's on the tip of your tongue? Yeah, especially when that something is a kinker sore. Ugh. If you ask me, you're this close to remembering your friend's name. Alright, hopefully. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, we're going to Halloween Town, which is the last world of our first deck of cards. And then, well, let's hope we get some more cards, otherwise we're going to be at a dead end. Uh, Sora's, Sora's just enjoying himself there. Thanks for watching, and until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.